Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber, coming back at you with more beer. I know I always say it's, I'm excited, or this is an exciting beer. I know I say that, but this is kind of an exciting beer. This is 10 Bends. It is their Green Fountains India Pale Ale. They released this a little while ago, and I was like absolutely devastated because they're in Vermont and because of like uh, traveling restrictions and like quarantine stuff. Like, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't going to get this. And then Matt from Massive Beer Reviews. Uh, sends me a couple pictures today of this one of those being this in a very local liquor store here in New Jersey at the time I was at my partner's partner Katie's house and her apartment or whatever and uh, the place he was sending the picture from was literally like five minutes away so it's it's probably about 20 minutes from here give or take but uh yeah the only thing is that this was canned on 925 so that makes this like two and a half months old right what's today december 12th is the date so 12 12 and this is 925 Oh, it's actually kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but the time the timestamp is also nine twenty five. The timestamp is nine twenty five forty nine, and then the date is nine twenty five twenty. Very interesting. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, if it's good enough for distribution, it should be good enough to drink, right? It should still be good. Uh, this is. Let's see what else is on here. All right, uh, it is one pint of ale uh, brewed with Cascade, Mosaic, and Strata, 7.2% alcohol by volume, brewed and canned by 10 Ben Beer, Hyde Park, Vermont, under a special agreement at Clifton Park, New York. Oh, so maybe this wasn't, I don't know. Do they brew it somewhere in New York? Maybe that's why I got distribution down here. But I feel like 925, I feel like that's when they first canned it. So I thought that was at their brewery. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it, I guess. Let's just, let's just uh, see what's going on here. So 7.2%, that's almost a double IPA, almost. It's orange. It is, mm, I'm getting a slight shadow down at the bottom, but, but uh, I'm not getting anything through it. It is orange. It looks like, I've been saying that I don't know what that orange juice thing was when I that I drank as a kid that kind of looks like this it was it's orange pineapple juice orange pineapple juice I'm pretty sure a uh, finger of kind of fluffy kind of creamy kind of a little bit of rocky or actually after doing that it's not as rocky as it was Fluffy. Fluffy. Let's let's see what it smells like. Mm. I want to say that there is either a little bit of oxidation going happening or some of the hops have fallen off because I'm getting 
I'm getting a little bit of, uh, I don't know if I would call it, I don't think it's oxidized. I think that maybe some of the hops has fallen off because I'm getting like that, that like, um, that like bitterness. Just a little bit. What hops are in here? Cascade Mosaic Strength. Oh, or or maybe maybe it's just the Cascade. Because I know like some of the newer newer new school hops, sometimes they fall off pretty quick and uh, they just turn into bitter bittering. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm starting to think that it's just the bitterness from the cascade, and I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the strata, so I don't know. There is this fruity thing, but I don't. It's not citrus. What is it? Stone fruit, maybe? I don't know. It's really subtle. And I'm not getting much else, so let's just let's just uh see what it tastes like. Cheers. Oh, that's super good. Oh, that is so good. It is super creamy. Super creamy. Mouthfeel is awesome. What is that? It must be the strata because it's like a green apple, I think. Man. Fucking, I don't know what that is. It kind of tastes like green apple. I think there's a little bit of stone fruit in there maybe behind that. And it's not, it's not big at all. It's not big at all. It's very, very subtle, the flavor. It could have to do with age or, or, it's, I'll say at 7.2%, I would, I would like this to have like a little more flavor, but the flavor that it has is awesome. I just want it to be bigger. Yeah. It's like. I was getting this green apple thing and now it's a little more stone fruit, generic. It's not super sweet. As with IPAs and myself, it is starting to get a little bit heavy, but it's Oh man. I really wish I got to try this fresh. Or hopefully I will one day. Hopefully they will make it again and things will be semi back to normal or or new normal obviously. Um but yeah. There is a bitterness. It is building up as I drink it. I wasn't really getting bitterness, but now after sitting for a little bit, it's starting to build up in the back. Man. 
this this beer is awesome and i love me some 10 bends so they're one of like the newer breweries that i found that i absolutely love um and uh yeah i don't know i don't know what else to say it's good I know they do distro in like PA and stuff. Didn't know they had this distribution in New Jersey. So if you're in the New Jersey slash Pennsylvania area, oh, excuse me. Oh, I've been drinking it way too fast. Uh, um, you might be able to find this somewhere. Oh, that bitterness is like way big now who hmm. yeah yeah this is good I like this for for almost three months old this is awesome as well so I feel like it's holding up really well um and yeah that's all i think that's all i gotta say about that um you can like this video if you want you can subscribe to the channel if you have not already you can follow me on instagram at 93 lumber that's spelled out it'll be down in the description um and yeah i hope you're staying safe i hope you are well I hope you are taking care of yourself. I hope you are taking care of the people around you. If there are people around you. If there are not people around you, I hope you keep it that way as much as, as much as possible. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>